Meanwhile, the Florida Department of Health confirming its first ever case of chikungunya fever in Lee County. The mosquito spread illness usually found overseas has now been brought to southwest Florida by an elderly man who was visiting the Dominican Republic. All new at 10, Corner Corner's Katie Jones has the latest on the man's condition and how you can protect yourself. Katie. Well, Emily, luckily this man is home from the hospital tonight after going through several days of treatment for what I'm told is an extremely painful disease. You need to take that personal responsibility to ensure that you don't get bitten. It's a stern warning from the Florida Department of Health in Lee County that unfortunately can be easier said than done. What we really want is for people to become really aware because this has happened here in Lee County. It's right in your neighborhood. Those pesky mosquitoes that tend to be an even bigger pain in the summer months now could be carrying chikungunya fever. Health officials say the 71 year old man brought the disease back from overseas and now we're it could spread. It travels from mosquito to person to mosquito to person. The scary disease coming too close for comfort. The man reported having a high fever and severe aches and pains in his joints. Health officials say it takes three to seven days for chikungunya symptoms to show up and they can stick around for several weeks. With millions of mosquitoes swarming around, anyone's at risk. It's definitely something to be concerned about because it's very, very painful for anybody who um, gets infected with the virus. So what we want you to do is cover up, wear long sleeves, um, long pants if you can. So you need to be proactive and protect yourself. Heavy rains bring standing water, an oasis for these bothersome bugs. It could be a garbage can lid, it could be a flower pot tray, anything that could hold water now that we're having daily rains and empty them because these are daytime biters and they're going to be.